сьогоднішній випуск особливий, адже ми знаходимось на 27-му українському фестивалі на Blur West Village. 27 років української пісні, української традиції, українського танцю в Канаді. Найбільший в Північній Америці український фестиваль радо зустрічає гостей фестивалю. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 27th annual Toronto Ukrainian Festival. to be joined today by honored guests, including government officials, community leaders, and former parade marshals, as well as our current parade marshal this year. It is a tremendous honor to welcome you here, Vitaimo, to Parkdale Air Park, to the riding I have the honor of representing in Parliament for yet again a wonderful Ukrainian festival, celebrating Ukraine and its culture, but celebrating Ukraine and its resilience. What I also want to underscore is that all that I've been doing in these last eight years is listening to all of you listening to your advocacy and translating that advocacy into my work as an MP, as a parliamentary secretary, and now I will be doing that advocacy around the cabinet table with the Prime Minister and my cabinet colleagues. We're showing that with $5 billion in financial assistance, $1.8 billion in military support, $350 million in humanitarian assistance, $127 million in development assistance, $102 million in security and stabilization assistance, in our work on the Canada-Ukraine Authorization for Emergency Travel, which has authorized 160,000 people from the Harmada to call Canada home for safety here in Canada before they can return back to a unified Ukraine that includes all of the Donbass and all of Crimea. I think it's important that every political party and every leader of every political party is unified on this, on this issue. It does not help the broader piece of nonpartisan support of Ukraine when we hear leaders of parties talk about the fact that Russia's invasion of Ukraine has no impact on supply chains in Canada and the cost of inflation. It doesn't help when we have leaders of political parties in the Parliament of Canada talk about the fact that this war is kind of just like other wars, that what Russia is doing with Ukraine, well, we've seen that before. We haven't seen that before, and I'll tell you why. One of the first conversations I had as Minister of Justice was with Andriy Kustin. Andriy Kustin is the pr Prosecutor General of Ukraine. He talked to me, he said, Arif, you are the Minister of Justice. Arif, you have prosecuted war crimes in Rwanda. You know what a war crime looks like. We have indicted Vladimir Putin at the ICC for committing war crimes in Ukraine with respect to Russian, with respect to Ukrainian children. That is important. He needs Canada's cooperation. I said to him, I committed to him, you will have every ounce of Canada's cooperation to prosecute those war crimes and bring a guy like Vladimir Putin to justice. On behalf of the leader of the opposition, the Honorable Pierre Polyev, I come with a message. And that message is that we support the brave men and women of Ukraine who are fighting back against Putin's illegal evasion. We support the military and humanitarian efforts that have been ongoing. Military support through weapons to help defend from the illegal invader Putin. It has been probably the most tragic and defining year in Ukraine's recent history. But we stood our ground. We did not break down we did not surrender. We withstood the Russian aggression due to our fearless warriors, due to our men and women on the front lines and in the rear, due to their resilience, their courage and sacrifice, but also due to the powerful support and assistance of the democratic world and in particular that of Canada. Political, financial, Humanitarian and military support provided by the government of Canada to Ukraine is invaluable and will always be remembered. Ukraine stays, Ukraine fights, and Ukraine wins. Slava Ukraine! Today, we will share together our special Ukrainian spacing. Love, tradition, history, music, dance, culture. Це те, що не обчення 
Тебе не, не жали, кого мы не любили и про что мы не мирали. I see many people wearing their colorful vishivankas. Mine was made by my elderly aunt who lives in Dohil, a small village in western Ukraine. I wear it proudly as it signals to everyone that I value and cherish my heritage just as you value and cherish yours. Like many of you, I have relatives in Ukraine. Some are alive and living in the inferno of war. Some are fighting on the front lines. Some we have lost. We gather on this joyful occasion to celebrate our heritage and our freedoms, knowing that our brothers and sisters who still live in the motherland are giving their blood to save this heritage and maintain their freedoms. Please join me in pledging to continue to fight for Ukraine until victory. Do permohe slava Ukraine. This much-awaited festival brings people together in the spirit of camaraderie, good cheer, and true community spirit. Kudos to the Blur Street Village BIA and all the volunteers for the time, energy, creativity they've invested to making this one of the biggest and most anticipated festivals in the city. Recently, working with this community and all of the volunteers working in different settlement agencies, the Canadian-Ukrainian Congress, the federal government and the provincial government, we have taken extra steps to provide refuge to people fleeing Putin's illegal war until they are able to return to a united Ukraine. But we're not just here for that today. We're here to keep reminding everyone of the courage, the resilience, and the strength of Ukrainian culture. This, the Bluer West Village BIA, not only pays extra taxes, believe it or not, they volunteer to pay taxes to put this festival on, but they have also been a remarkable partner in helping people arriving from Ukraine to get integrated and supported here in the city of Toronto. Friends, for almost two years, we have been leading the Ukrainian-Canadian community's response to the greatest humanitarian crisis of this century. And the work of the Ukrainian-Canadian Congress remains focused on support for Ukraine, but the window of opportunity for Ukraine to secure a decisive victory is very, very narrow. And that is why we need your help. It is indisputable that the Kremlin's war is the primary cause of food and energy price inflation here in Canada and around the world. But Kremlin narratives that suggest otherwise could erode support for Ukraine, and we cannot let that happen. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you so much for allowing me to join you here today during this special festival that showcases our Ukrainian customs. Я дуже радий бути сьогодні тут з усіми вами на українському фестивалі. Цей фестиваль дає змогу кожному познайомитися з українськими традиціями та культурою. It's not every day that I get to serve as the marshal of a parade through the streets of the city and the very community I have lived in my entire life and where I've raised my family. As a police leader, I've been involved in planning parades, but to help lead one is truly a special honor. And what a celebration it has already been. If just a small fraction of the joy, excitement, and spirit that we've already witnessed today carries over to the rest of the weekend, then this festival will yet again be a remarkable success. And a success that I must admit, I'm very personally invested in because this gathering holds a special place in my heart. As a son of Ukrainian immigrants, this showcases the food, music, and art that I love. Reminds me, and so many others, of a homeland all the way on the other side of the world, and fills me with a deep and abiding sense of pride. Living in Toronto gives all of us a unique opportunity to appreciate cultures from every single corner of the globe. 
But what a special joy it is when you get to experience people appreciating your very own. For myself and for the members across our service, and as I'm sure is the case for many of you here today, we know loved ones who are caught in the crossfire of a terrible and unjust war in Ukraine. Not only does an event like this festival inspire us as a representation of Ukrainian spirit and resilience, but more simply, this event reminds us, the police, of why we do what we do, of the freedoms we all enjoy, and the freedoms we, the police, have sworn to protect, of all that makes the city we serve the greatest in the world. So as we continue this weekend of festivities, let us embrace the spirit of togetherness, respect, and the shared pride of our heritages. And let us strengthen the bonds that make Toronto a shining example of unity in diversity. I look forward to enjoying the Toronto Ukrainian Festival with all of you. Diakui vam, thank you. Slava Ukraini. Five, four, three, two, one, bingo! Bingo!